Welcome back, Cancers. This is your girl, Heavy Sink. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, Cancers, this is going to be your love reading for the month of August 2019. Y'all remember this read is general, and it's not going to resonate with everybody. All right, let me tap right in. Now, Cancers, for the month of August, as far as your love and relationships, okay? Somebody could be trying to come towards you very fast, all right? I mean, like, trying to take action okay trying to really bring you two together i don't know if they trying to move in with you but it's more of an energy of like really trying to come together with you okay they could be trying to marry your ass type shit all right it's some type of energy where it's like trying to celebrate you too you know what i'm saying but i feel like dealing with that you may not want to take the risk okay because i feel like you still attached to a past relationship, okay? It's something with a feeling of, oh, I, I think I left something behind. I feel like whoever this person is coming towards you, that's coming towards you, they got some shit that they've been through, okay? And I feel like they haven't fully healed, okay? So it's coming across like rebound and codependency. And it's like trying to fill a void all right so whoever this person that's coming towards you they haven't fully let a person go okay i feel like you may have you may you're gonna make this person snap back into reality okay i feel like this person needed to hear the truth that's going to come out your mouth, okay? I feel like you are going to keep this person at a distance, okay? Um, really not attach yourself to this person like that, okay? Now, this could be playing out where both of you is coming from a place of hurt, and you both could be codependent on each other, but it's like still not fully healed a broken heart that you both have went through. But I feel like you more wiser, okay, dealing with it. Like, you know what, you could just be talking to this person or enjoying this person's company, but I feel like it's more, you're not taking it to a level of a serious commitment but this person may want a serious commitment but it's more like rebound energy if that is making sense because this is all around confusion okay delusional living in a fantasy land um dealing with communication okay it could be a lot of shit going on a lot of things happening and a person could be confused uh, confused about that okay like somebody could have communicated like you know what let's take a rest let's start over let's go let's do this let's do that like let's just see where this go and you may have turned them down like it just did not go that way like things would left like you may have rejected this person um or vice versa or have this plan out but i feel like this is more you pulling back from this person it's like you holding on to the fact of okay you know what let me take my time let me move slow let me like let me let me let the energy of somebody coming in like who want a serious commitment who looking for loyalty and who on the right track far as like wanting a relationship going to the next level it's like you holding on to that fact you see what i'm saying so i feel like you more taking things slow cautious paying attention to details okay because the situation you in right now it's like you really you pretty much single you doing it on your own okay you standing on your own two feet right you handling your business, okay? But you could be lacking confidence, okay? Something is pissing you off. Something is making you mad, okay? It's like you really, you really not yourself. It's like 
it's an energy of really not taking action, really not going towards what you want. Okay. Let me go deep on that. Okay. Because it's like, you're really not showing up in this energy of self-confidence and it's like, okay, I know what I want. It's like, I'm going after what I want. It's more like an energy of taking the back seat, not really taking no action, kind of mad, like really got an attitude. It's like moody. I feel like you could be moody. So let's go deep on that. I feel like you could be moody, okay? And this is, it's like you like this because of a relationship that may have came together, but something happened. So a relationship got you like that, okay? Because you could be in love with somebody, like for real, and you're not with them. You know what I'm saying? Because what's sitting on this foundation is, it's like, okay, something you couldn't depend on. Something you couldn't depend on. And it kind of pissed you off because they left you out in the cold. Okay. I feel like it's no faith on this foundation. Somebody lost the faith and the hope. And something stopped moving forward. Now, you could have two people in your life. All right. One person, okay, could be more like got an air quality. Okay. Uh, where they know how to communicate. It's like an energy where they're not afraid to talk to people, okay? Dealing with that person, you may have put a lot of time and effort and energy into this person, okay? And it's like now you know where you stand and it's like, okay, you could have, it's like now you could be looking at this person different because this person may have cheated on you, this person may have manipulated you, this person may have lied to you, or you could be lying to yourself about this person. You see what I'm saying? But I, I feel like there's more of... This person could have manipulated you. This other person I'm picking up, okay, this other person could be in love with you. Like, they have a heart. They know how to care. It's just a feeling of, okay, emotionally, you will be all good. This person could be waiting on you. Now, this person also invested, okay, they planted with you, but it's like, okay, they waiting, but things is going left, okay? Things is going left because I feel like this person hasn't moved forward mentally from a situation and this situation could be something that didn't make it long term you know what i'm saying so i feel like it's more y'all in the same boat but it's like this person is trying to come towards you because they went through some shit and it's like you it's like running from them but still connected to them if that is making sense but it's like a motherfucker don't want to be no rebound. You know what I'm saying? It all boils down to that, okay? You looking at the situation, like, I feel like you already speaking your truth, okay? You, you pulling up receipts, all right? But the way you communicate could be kind of negative, but it's the truth, so it's like, okay, it's, it's not, it's not immature, but it's like, okay, damn, like, you not sugarcoating nothing. All right. I feel like it's a lot of mad games around this situation. A lot of manipulation, a lot of competition, a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. Let me go deep on that. It's like a lot of backstabbing. Okay. And this could be around like somebody could have a, have a child, like the mother of somebody kid. Like it's like somebody who know they worth. It's like a lot of mind games and a lot of manipulation dealing with this person. Okay, so you could be the person. I feel like somebody is fearing like this is toxic. Okay, like it's just and it could be toxic because it's like rebound. Like how you expect to be trying to get involved with a person and you still holding on to pain from a, a, a relationship. You know what I'm saying? You haven't really fully healed from an old relationship. It's like, okay, how the fuck am I going to bring somebody new into my life? And I'm still got old baggage. You see what I'm saying? Because this is all leading to, it's like, it's, first off, it's like a lot of lies around this. It's dishonesty. It's no clarity. It's no confirmation. Okay. This is all leading to a person it's like, okay, not setting up boundaries. 
for one. That's what motherfuckers is fucking up at. They're not setting up boundaries. It's like a person can do whatever they want to do, like come in whenever they please. It's like, first off, somebody needs to set up boundaries, okay? Because you could be in a relationship with a person that you may not know, you may not want everybody to know, okay? This could be like a secret relationship. Like, you could be, it's more like, sex maybe like sex talk or it's like action happening but it's like not sticking around i feel like you really not taking it serious it's more like this person is coming to you okay but it's like a secret relationship but it's still no boundaries getting set up i feel like dealing with that it's a lot of fears okay and lostness okay because i feel like Something may have come out, something may come out dealing with this relationship. Like somebody may, it's like a feeling of exposing like you two talking. It's like that feeling and it's like dealing with this relationship. It's like, okay, I don't want to think the worst about this person, but at the same time, you could be thinking the worst, you could be just lost. Something is going to come out. Dealing with this, okay, where you may stop fucking with this person. It could be a lot of talking, a lot of gossiping, a lot of running a mouth, really don't know the facts. It's just like spreading rumors and shit. And that's a turnoff, okay? You, it's like... You're going to shut your feelings down dealing with this person. You're going to get to the point where you don't care about this person. It's 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 something that's going to happen where something is going to happen where you didn't set up boundaries. So make sure now when you listen to this video, set up boundaries. Okay, let motherfuckers know what you're going to deal with and what you're not going to deal with. Okay, especially if. This is a relationship where you don't want everybody in your business. I feel like you need to make that known because some shit may be, people may be talking about this shit and it may come out later on. And then when it come out, you may get turned off. You see what I'm saying? So it's best for you to set up boundaries dealing with this person. Okay. Because motherfuckers could be talking about this shit. And I feel like it's, it's a feeling of this is going to eventually this is going to fail. Okay. You really going to get turned off. You may feel like you're getting took it for granted or somebody feeling like they getting took it for granted. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. But at the end of the day, a person is really going to know about themselves. Okay. A person is really going to get wiser. Okay. About shit that makes them happy or something that's fulfilling it's like somebody is going to really find out about only you can make yourself happy if that is making sense instead of trying to depend on somebody to fill a void feel your happiness because you lack in happiness from some shit that happened in the past and you still hold it on if that shit is making sense so pretty much it's like somebody is gonna learn that only you can make yourself happy if that shit just made sense so yeah that's really all i got thumbs the fuck up if you like the tip heaven i truly appreciate y'all sent from heaven 225 at gmail.com at the paypal you already know peace out y'all